Okay, Jurgen Klopp has hired me as an assistant to Liverpool to help this Liverpool team win the quadruple. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Uh, what is this uh, Liverpool squad? Well, this is a continuation of our Liverpool crew mode series, which lasted two seasons long. And this is also the series finale for that crew mode. So like up till this point, we've let Klopp kind of do his thing. He's had full control of the squad, but now he's hired me as an assistant, an official assistant. So season three of this crew mode. In season one, we won the FA Cup. And in season two, we won the Premier League and also the glorious Champions League as well. We've signed players like Jude Bellingham, also Dominic Sobos, Sly, among others. And we also have some very good Youth Academy homegrown talents here, like Sean Frost, who has been amazing. He's the English Erling Holland, And also Tony Parsons, the next uh, Stevie G, Steven Gerrard. He's been pretty good as well. But Jurgen Klopp is saying, after a season of winning the Prem in the Champions League, to win the quadruple, this man needs my help. At least he, he thinks he does. I'm going to try to win this team, the quadruple, in season three, the final season of this career mode. And we've already made one huge signing, one humongous signing, maybe the biggest signing ever. So if you enjoy the video, then drop a like. I'd appreciate it. And we're getting close to 110,000 subs. So hit that sub button down below if you have not. I think you guys know who this signing already is I'm talking about. Welcome to Liverpool, Killian Mbappe. Yeah, we sent Mbappe. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big signing, you know what I mean? So Darwin Nunez plays up top. Mbappe is going to start on the left wing. And that makes our starting 11 currently Mbappe, Nunez, Salah, Bellingham, Trent in the midfield, who is 94 rated. And then Fabinho, Robertson, Van Dijk, Kanate, and Gomez. Also, of course, Ali in goal. And then our bench, we got Sobosai, Elliott. We got Frost as a backup striker. We got Parsons back up mid. Um, and Capier as a backup left back. Semicon backup center back. So we're looking pretty good, honestly. I feel like if we're going to try to help this team win the quadruple we're gonna need at least one big signing i think and also we might sell one big player okay it's happening already Fabinho release clause met by juventus for 115.5 million pounds i feel like if there's one position i want to change this season i think it might be that cdm spot so Fabinho, although it makes me sad he might be on his way to, to italy also in to, to ensure mbappe's game time we had to sell one of our attackers and unfortunately that player is going to be luis diaz although they are very very sad sacrifices and just like that a absolute i mean you can call him a legend i think would you call Fabinho a legend i would say he's pretty close you know he's part of the team that won the champions league part of the resurgence so i would say he's close to a legend unfortunately i think it's time to move on though and we got replacements in mind and also now luis diaz so this one's very sad because he feels like he just joined but honestly in our series he actually wasn't that good i feel like sobosai is better on the left wing so we have to sell him pretty much also because we have killian mbappe starting do we have diaz we don't really need him i apologize luis okay so we got a whopping 385 million to spend now i don't think this team needs too much for cdm i'm thinking either declan rice or yasuo kimmich now kimmich would be higher rated and also cheaper but Declan Rice I feel like is more realistic it's been in the news recently that he's been linked to Liverpool so I feel like I'm leaning towards Declan Rice I feel like he might grow during the season somehow he's found his way to Napoli which is so weird but they want 90 you know what 90.3 million for Declan Rice we're gonna pay that and I think we have our new starting CDM like I said I'm hoping he grows throughout the season to eventually get to 90 at least that's my hopes but Mbappe and Declan Rice you talk about two signings that are gonna shake things up a lot in this team we got a new man to take over that number six spot I'm hoping I'm hoping is gonna be good for Mbappe being 90 if I rate it is just disgusting. We got Mbappe trend to 95 and 94. That's insane. So I think for now, that's going to be the two signings in the summer window. Mbappe and Declan Rice. I feel like we got a strong bench. We got good backups for every spot. The starting 11 is not the strongest. I'm trusting Gomez right back because he's, he was good in that series, but it's not the strongest level we've ever seen. I am banking on the big players, Van Dyke. Trent, Bellingham, Mbappe, Salah to really take over the squad. And we're about to see Kylian Mbappe's uh, first Premier League debut. And that debut is going to be against uh, Leicester City on opening day of the Premier League in Season 3. I mean, this season, we got Holland versus Mbappe in the Prem. That's amazing. So we're going to see what the man can do on his on his debut. All right, Bellingham. Get to the Killian. Killian shot right at the chest of a player. That man's going to need an X-ray. All right, let's see if we can work something together here now. I believe Trent is suspended opening day. Like, how are you going to be suspended on opening day of the Premier League? Mbappe, that was a decent shot right there. All right, we got a back line that it's been a little bit of an issue so far in this series, or it has been, but right there, that was a good... It was a decent save. Okay, Killian, are we going to try the unthinkable here? I think we're going to try the unthinkable by Killian Mbappe. If he scores this, the video is over. Killian Mbappe, from absolute distance, it's going to be... It's going to be right at the keeper. Okay, we got a penalty, and Mbappe, of course, has taken command of the penalty spot. First goal in the Prem... First goal in the Prem for Kylian Mbappe on his Premier League debut. I mean, hey, it's not it's not a bad debut. Now, let's secure this opening win. Oh, Van Dyke, that's such a strong tackle. Almost too strong. Come on, get the win. Secure the win. Oh, Gallagher. Oh, Ali. What a save by Ali. And that wins us the game, that save. So, Mbappe, debut goal. Three points. Not a real commanding win, but it's still a win at the end of the day. So, it's not bad. Okay, now we got the first, the very first meeting of Holland versus Mbappe in the Prem. It is Man City versus Liverpool. Who will win the first meeting? All right, Man City corner now. Now, Trent is now 95 rated. Oh, Van Dyke 
just destroyed Holland there. I've never seen a player get more destroyed on a corner as I just saw right there. Yeah, I'm mighty my words here because Holland has got a little bit of space. Shot, alley, good save though. Okay, Man City having the, the bulk of the chances early on. Another corner and that's going to be Trent near post. Very good clearance out to Bernardo Silva. Brian into Jota. I forgot we sold Jota to Man City. I just forgot. Oh, okay, Ali. Allison just coming up big early in this game. This has been an onslaught by Man City and he is going to be the one to strike first in this game. It's one no to Man City. Hey, we've had like, we've had like no chances yet. It's been all Man City. And honestly, it's looking like the theme here, De Bruyne. I mean, I'd guarantee he's scoring this. I'm calling it. It is pretty much guaranteed that De Bruyne is, is scoring this unless the wall does their job and Mbappe does his job and blocks it, I think. But chance on over Holland. Oh, Robbo. Robbo, what a good block on Holland. Now gets the ball out. 65th minute penalty for Liverpool. Chance to tie the game up. Mbappe went right first time. We're going to go left, and Mbappe ties the game up. It is Holland 1, killing Mbappe also 1. Okay, this tie looks very good. It looks very good. Foden, Foden's going to shoot. Okay, I thought we blocked that. I think we did, actually. Okay, this right here is a very odd spot for a free kick. I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to call for Salah, and then we're going to try and pass back to someone. Going to try to slide it. Now get it back in the middle. Oh, what a ball. What a ball, Nunez. Oh, Mbappe. Nunez again. Somewhat. How do we not score that? That was almost worked so beautifully. Nunez to killing Mbappe. We got Salah, Mbappe. What can we do? Mbappe is breaking by everyone. Mbappe, Mbappe. Okay, slow it down. Get it to Nunez. Nunez in to Salah. Salah. Oh, Bastoni. I was just looking for an inch of space. Oh, that was so bad. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. Okay, Holland versus Mbappe meeting one is going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. Oh, you've ruined it. All right, now into Champions League match day one of the group stage. We got Sevilla at home. Our group is not too bad, so we should get through, though. Now, saying that, I might have just jinxed it. Free kick for Sevilla. That should be easy, though. It is easy for Jude to clear that. But that is right back in. Ali, what a save. Oh, Ali, he's on. He's in form this season. Okay, 47th minute penalty for Sevilla. Ali, are you actually in form? Oh, Ali is in prime form right now. What a save. Okay, Bellingham, get it to Mbappe, Mbappe, Mbappe. Swing it back to Salah, Salah. Okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake. Get it to Mbappe. Cross it to Darwin Nunez. Okay, Nunez. Well, Nunez, what was that? He just did a flip. All right, I would say this is Trent, but I believe he is off the field. So instead, I guess it's got to be... The new man, Kylian Mbappe. Now, I believe he can still score this. We're going to see Kylian Mbappe from a pretty far ways out. Free kick. Oh, what a free kick by Kylian Mbappe. That is an absolute screamer from, from the 95 rated new man. And that free kick actually wins us the game. Okay, beautiful way to start the group stage. Once again, I'm not seeing like very convincing performances, but when is a win? I think we'll start seeing it uh, soon as we like we shake off that early season rust. What a free kick by Mbappe though. Okay, midway point of the season. 20 games in, we are sitting second, only one point behind Spurs. Is it only one point above Man City too, though? Like, this is an insanely close title race. And then Champions League, we did finish first on goal difference, though. Or no, head-to-head, -head, actually. So, again, not the most convincing, but we did get through first. Okay, Mbappe is 96 rated. That's insane. So, this is our last chance to improve this team. The one spot I'm thinking about is now right back. I feel like Gomez, he's good. But can we do better than that? Because we do have a 300 million to spend. We almost might as well spend that. It's our last chance. Jurgen Klopp has come to me, his new assistant. And that is my advice. And the whole entire coaching staff has agreed. Okay, we got three options. We got Hakimi Mazra and then also Kunde, who we could play at right back. And honestly, I feel like uh, Hakimi, Mazari both be good. But I think our best option, our last signing of the Liverpool crew mode, we're going to go after Jose Kunde. I think he gives us a, our best chance at winning everything this year. So 120 million is a lot, but we got the big bucks right now. I wanted to sit the table with uh, Klopp for the negotiation, but he told me I can't sit there. So we're in the corner somewhere. We're like a stalker in the background just watching this. Like, I want to sit at the table, Jurgen. Boy, Jose Kunde is signed up. That's uh, it's a very big signing. Will he allow us to win everything? The quadruple this season because it's still on. I'm hoping this signing, that's what it means. We're going to see though. Okay, so first trophy on the list is the Carabao Cup. And we're in the semis against Manchester United, which first leg is going to be, it's going to be 2-2. Okay, that's that's fine. Now, second leg, I think we can get the job done at Anfield, I think. Second leg is going to be, it's going to be 3-1. Carabao Cup final, here we go. So Carabao Cup final, can you believe who we're facing? We're facing Man City. First trophy of four, it is once again, Holland versus Kylian Mbappe. Come on, boys, lose this. And this early in the season, the quadruples are already over we can't do that holland okay i'm just i'm just scared of erling holland i can't lie i am scared of him although kunde that's a great steal from our new signing all right trent cross in from a corner trent lifts it in that's gonna be kunde new signing out to bellingham i believe bellingham okay get it back out to trent trent whip that into mbappe that's actually nunez actually honestly not bad van dyke into killian killian gets it to bellingham bellingham into Darwin, Nunez, oh, Ederson, what a save. Okay, all the way into extra time, still nil-nil. Declan Rice, Bellingham, 
Get it to Mbappe. Mbappe gets it to Darwin Nunez. Nunez to Mbappe. Mbappe find the space. Oh, that touch was too heavy. Time is running out still. Nil, nil, though. Salah. Salah. Lay it off. It's going to be Bellingham. Bellingham. Oh, man. He just felt so slow and he can't get the shot away. It is going to penalties. The quadruple will be literally be decided by penalties right now. If we lose this, Jurgen Klopp is going to fire me. It's guaranteed. We must prevail in this shootout. First pen is a save by Ali. Salah loves going top right. So top right by Salah. Good. Good penalty. Come on, Ali again. Ali again. Oh, he. this man is in fine form right now. Kylian Mbappe, top right. Come on, go two for two. Two for two. What a penalty by Killian. Bernardo Silva, the captain's armband. Okay. They should just stop trying. Allison is just too good. Darwin Nunez to secure trophy number one of four. Darwin Nunez. Top left. Top left. Okay, Ederson. Do you want to even try? Like, what? What a penalty shootout. What did I just witness? I don't know, but we just witnessed trophy number one of four being won by Liverpool Carabao Cup champions. And one of the worst penalty shootouts I've ever seen in my life. Jurgen Klopp hired me to help win the quadruple. That is that is one trophy down. Okay, who gets the honor to the trophy? I think it's going to be Van Dyke, right? Yep, of course it'll be Virgil. We got, we got one down. We still got three to go. This was the easiest to get so far. We are going for three more trophies okay champions like knockout stage run 16 we drew benfica we beat them 2-1 honestly a bit closer than i would have liked but we still got through though but if i was we drew juventus and i thought you know i didn't think juve would be that much of a problem they kind of were though it was 4-3 it was actually close again so i was like okay semi-finals we are jumping in and helping out and we drew Atletico madrid in the in the semis and i was gonna jump in but the first leg was 3-0 we end up winning 5-1 on aggregate so you know what that means we have found ourselves in the champions league final against real madrid the rematch of the century they've already bit us twice in champions league finals we cannot let that happen again we just can't we need to get sweet sweet revenge we've also made it to uh the fa cup final as well and we're facing swansea now, i would say swansea that's a pretty pretty easy final for us oh no did i just jinx it and the champion this season is going to be unfortunately man city by a whopping nine points i mean we had the we had the least losses but you can see we had a lot of draws which i'm not really sure what the cause of that is but unfortunately that rules out the quadruple we could still win the treble though care about cup fa cup and champions league and that is what we're going for right now by the way a little look at the stats before this um Kylian Mbappe, 43 goals in 61 games. The man is absolutely nuts. Salah, 25 and 60. Nunez, 18 and 56. Uh, Trent, 12 goals and 27 assists from Trent. Okay, I'm thinking about where's uh, Frost though? Okay, Frost only played 15 games. If you didn't know, like Sean Frost, our youth player, what we're going to do is him, um, Tommy Parsons as well, our youth player, and the next Sadio Mane, where is he at? Mensa. They're all going to be players in our Creative Club series later on. So this is not the last we're going to see of those players. Just uh, throwing that out there. But okay, FA Cup final and then champions league final now i was brought in to help this team win the quadruple i think the trouble would be a reasonable like consolation i think it'll be reasonable anything less and jurgen klopp will kick us out the door himself so we got to win these two finals final number one liverpool v swansea city all right mr 27 assists can you play this ball to salah what a ball to mo salah that's beautiful salah chest down i like it get that to nunez nunez back to Mbappe. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. I think Mbappe would have scored that anyways. Okay, penalty in the sixth minute. It's got to be the man that's been perfect so far from the penalty spot. Mbappe top right. He remains perfect. 1-0 in the FA Cup final. In PayPal, strikes again. All right, can we make this 2-0? I would really like this game to be a little bit comfortable, you know. It's going to go to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Finesse shot. Oh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. What a goal, and that's 2-0 to Liverpool. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, man, I think Swansea are a little bit outmatched. Mbappe, Mbappe, he can pass it, but that's not the Mbappe way. It's not the Mpaypal way. 3-0 to Liverpool. Man, pour one out for Swansea because I think I think they're done. A goal here would pretty much put them out of their misery. Mbappe. Mbappe. Finesse shot from Killian. Oh, Killian Mbappe. Okay, FA Cup final. These players have shown up to just destroy Swansea City. I am seeing some like bangers from this team right now. Declan Rice, long ball to Mbappe. Mbappe gonna win that. Mbappe, you're in PayPal. You have to win that. Thankfully, instead, we win the FA Cup four now. Swansea, they didn't stand a chance, unfortunately. All right, so two trophies of three. Man, I would have liked that Premier League title, but Man City were just more consistent than us. I think a treble means that Jurgen Klopp does not um forcibly remove us from the club. So second trophy down. That was even easier than the Carabao 
fuck up. That was a breeze. Unf unfortunate for Swansea. Their dream runs over. Virgil van Dijk is to lift the FA Cup trophy, but we have our eyes set on that Real Madrid Liverpool rematch. Champions League final, the rematch of the century. One final game. How does this story end of the Liverpool career mode? Final game, and it's against our most heated rivals in the Champions League, at least. Liverpool, Real Madrid. Firmino starting up striker for them because we sold Firmino to Real Madrid. Emotions are at an all time high here. What? Can this team do? We are going to find out. All right, counterattack, full Real Madrid, Gundogan. Okay, Gundogan. Okay, Robbo, that was a good block. Robbo, steal it from Vinicius. We got to steal it. Oh, Robbo, great steal. Exactly what the doctor ordered there. Okay, Firmino, we got familiar opponents. Kunde, though, new signing. We need good defending. Going to go over to Rodrigo, De Bruyne. How is De Bruyne Real Madrid? I am scared. Darwin Nunez to Mbappe. Mbappe, Mbappe, decent, decent. Okay, that. Okay, let's slow down. Get it to Mo Salah. Salah. Back to Mbappe. Mbappe shot right at Rodrigo's face. Declan Rice shoots. Also a block. Okay, that was a bit sloppy. 25th minute. Come on, work this ball around. Oh, Declan Rice. That was almost bad. Work the ball around. Try it again. Bellingham gets to Mbappe. Mbappe. Get it to Nunez. Nunez. Gotta score that. Darwin Nunez scores the first goal of the Champions League final. Mbappe assist. It was a very simple goal, but you know what? That is goal number one. Great start. Salah. Ball over to Mbappe and PayPal. And PayPal, what a ball by Salah. And PayPal scores. This is 2-0 to Liverpool. What a start to this game. What a ball by Mo Salah, too. 2-0, 52nd minute. Free kick, Trent Alexander-Arnold. If he scores this, we are 3-0 up in the Champions League final. Honestly, I think he has a good chance of scoring this. Trent from a pretty far ways out. Free kick, okay. Remember what I said about that being a highly chance of scoring? I guess not. 72nd minute, time is running out. But this attack by Real Madrid looks pretty good. Vinicius, Vinicius gets it to Firmino. Firmino. I'm looking for that pass back. I'm looking for it. It goes all the way back to Gundogan instead. Okay, that... Oh, Trent. Trent, beautiful defending. All right, another attack right after that. I am... I am sweating bullets right now. Is that even the saying? I don't even know. Robo, Robo, Raw, oh, Robo just pushes Vinicius down, I think. And that is going to be it. Real Madrid, no other chances in the game. Liverpool have won the Champions League trophy. We started the game off so strong with Nunes and Mbappe, and we just finished it off completely. Absolute redemption led by that man Mbappe. Darwin Nunez, like the new era of this team. Also, the old era. Salah, Van Dijk, and Trent. Not gonna lie, if I lost Real Madrid there, I would have threw up. I would have threw up. We would have lost three Champions League finals for Real Madrid alone in the last one. That would be disgustingly bad but you know what we have won the treble in season three champions league fa cup and care about cup i think Jurgen klopp is gonna allow us to stay on as an assistant i don't think we're getting fired yet but van dyke lifts the champions league trophy second season in a row by the way so back to back in the champions league i would say mbappe uh, helped helped a decent bit with it so i think as an assistant i don't think we did that bad i would have liked the quadruple but the treble we'll have to settle for that so liverpool series finale that's it for this uh this career mode once again if you enjoyed drop a like i'd appreciate it a lot um hit that sub button we're getting close to 110,000 subs and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video i hope you all have a great day